Are you ready? Are you ready? Hi, my lovelies. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing amazingly well. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about some incredible vanilla layering combinations. But before I start this video, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Kindly give this video a thumbs up and let me know what your scent of the day is. Make sure you like this video, guys. It allows YouTube to share my content in, and it lets YouTube know that you guys enjoy my content and then they can now share my content with fellow fragrance lovers and also share this video. Please, please do. So we are going to be diving into some incredible vanilla layering combinations. I've got some sweet ones and I've got some slightly fruity ones. I have a ton here for you guys and you are going to absolutely love this video but before i start i always get complaints from you guys i don't share what i'm wearing my makeup if you are a girl that likes a simple makeup with a bold lip that is literally me i normally use nars foundation which i've recently discovered and i've been loving it. i use the tiniest tiniest bit you guys if you've been riding me with me for a while you know how much i use um concealers only and that was literally me for the first maybe three years of starting youtube but i started branching i started doing a little bit of makeup a little bit more foundation and this one i literally swear by it everything i'll link it down below for you guys my top is from zara I bought this just yesterday it was in the sale it was 10 pounds it's a bodysuit i don't have it clipped right now because you know i'm free flowing <laughs> free flowing that sounds weird ignore that um oh mascara guys let's talk mascara now my sister put me onto the fenty beauty mascara now i ain't got lashes my, i'm lashless i don't really have a lot of lashes and i don't like to use fake lashes because they seem to irritate my eyes and they make me look different i don't know how to explain it so i'm a mascara girl and i don't have much of lashes so i used to use this benefit one but i soon moved on to this one now this is really good don't get me wrong this is absolutely amazing but there is something something extra special about the fenty one and a little bit seductive i really love this again i will link everything down below time for me to share my scent of the day right so my scent of the day is kind of like a rose vanilla kind of combination so i showered with my rose jam body wash and then i moisturized with like an unscented moisturizer then i went for the nest oil um this is the rose one it's absolutely divine i used that and then i went ahead and i layered with my ultimate delina exclusive which is probably my favorite perfume in my whole entire collection and then i added a little bit of the good girl blush by carolina herrera this is like a very soft powdery um floral perfume it smells so beautiful very feminine and you guys know delina exclusive is your one of the best rose perfumes out there rose oud vanilla it's so amazing and they pair really really well together so i'm smelling quite rosy powdery and vanillic at the moment so i'm really loving this combo and it will last you the whole day and get you a lot of compliments now the base that i'm using for most of these perfumes is the incredible eos body lotion i have not been able to find this in the uk until a few days ago and i got this from amazon i will link it for you guys if i can find a link for it if you live in the uk amazon is your best bet yes it's like double the price of what you pay but i don't mind because i've been wanting to get my nose on this for a long time i love this it smells like a vanilla cupcake this is so beautiful it's not that fragrant but it's fragrant enough like you can smell it it's amazing the only thing i disagree with is that it's 24 hour moisture it is not on my skin i do have severely dry skin especially in the colder months so this doesn't really moisturize me that well however 
I still love the way that it smells and I add a little bit of oil to make it a lot more moisturizing. And the oil that I reach for is the Boom Boom Famiza um, body oil. And this one is supposed to help you firm up your skin. It's a lie, lie, lie. Doesn't firm anything. However, it smells incredible. It does moisturize your skin. And you guys can see how much I've used. I'm absolutely in love. This one is like your salted caramel nutty kind of scent. Makes your skin feel so supple together. They are amazing and then i always 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 layer with my vanilla madagascar um, oil by nest this layers well with anything vanilla actually with anything to be honest it smells really good it's a soft um scent but it's a scent that lasts really really long now let me share the perfume combo i've never really been someone that kind of layer perfumes because i like to enjoy my perfume individually i don't really like combining them but lately uh when i say lately i want to say in the last year i've been playing around with different scents and i'm just trying to discover how i can create my own perfume um my own unique scent and i've been doing that quite a lot in the last few months so the first combo i'm going to share is pink pp Pee Pee by valentino and it's i mix it with um oriana by performs the mali now this combination is gonna have you smelling like a sweet baby girl this is so so lovely together this is quite similar i will say to oriana but i feel like oriana has better longevity it has a lot more depth to it because of that orange blossom the chantilly cream it opens up with that citruses it's just so so nice and this is your ultimate fruity floral for me this is way nicer than the original bonnie roma that's just my personal opinion i feel like it's more girly it smells less common than donna bonnie roma and i feel like it's a little bit more elevated as well together they are a match made in fragrance heaven because they are just so so stunning together i absolutely love this and this combo is immensely long lasting try it out and let me know what you think so my next layering combo is also kind of like on that marshmallowy side but it's a little bit amplified with the cherry note now this is cherry ambition by the seven virtues now i've not used this a lot because i have a 10 mil that was kindly sent to me by the brand thank you so much and i layer it with my killian's love don't be shy together together guys come and thank me later the only reason i thought to layer this is because they have marshmallow now what i like to do when it comes to layering is that i make sure the perfumes have at least one note in common and that always works for me and i always layer with the stronger perfume first and then i put the lighter one on top in this case i would say cherry ambition is a lot more forward a lot more projecting because of that cherry is very cherry forward but it's rounded with those marshmallow vanilla it's very it's a cherry gourmand anyway together they smell so incredible you guys already know this is green tea um vanilla marshmallow it smells like a more um likable version of love don't be shy by killing um love don't be shy is so so in your face with the orange blossom um with the vanilla it's a very sweet syrupy sweet sticky perfume but i feel like the green tea in here seriously calms the sweetness down a little bit and makes it more rounded and together they smell so good and they will last you for the whole day if not even the whole night um definitely date night worthy for these two so that is cherry ambition and princess by killian right you cannot have a layering combination without adding a little bit of kayali into it because their branding is all about layering and i am going with um vanilla 28 one of my favorite vanillas in the whole entire world i love it brown sugar is very sweet it's very addictive i am truly obsessed with this i do have a backup bottle for sure i always will when it comes to this perfume it's just one of my favorites and then we've got the royal okay let, let me get this right vanilla royal sugar patchouli 64 now this is patchouli heavy this is oud heavy and i don't find it that sweet i really don't but in the dry down in the very very ultimate dry down 
I am in love with this perfume. I love the opening, yes, but not as much as I love the dry down. I feel like together, like the sweetness that's missing in the opening, this one gives you that sweetness. I am in love. This is like one of the best vanillas in my opinion. Um, I think I was speaking to one of my friends the other day and she was like, this is a little bit sweet. Actually, not a little, it's a lot sweet on her. But I just don't know. It's not sweet on me. It's just giving more. The notes are like the golden rum, the creme brulee, brown sugar, royal oud, and sugared patchouli. But I don't feel like the patchouli is that sugared. I feel like in the dry down, you get a lot of the vanilla, the oud, the creme brulee. But the opening can be challenging for some people. For me, I love everything about this perfume. But together, they are so beautiful. This is beast mode. This is a beast mode Kayali perfume. In my humble opinion, in my experience, this lasts for such a long time and they pair really, really well together. Right, so the next layering combo is Escapade Gourmand. This, I'm so... Ah, salted caravel vanilla goodness with devotion by Dolce & Gabbana. Now, take a screenshot... Yeah and go and get your nose on these honestly i cannot if you like gourmands and you like a super caramelly sweet a little bit citrusy fresh in the opening because of this one you are going to adore this combination this is a man magnet right here i get a ton when i tell you guys i get a ton of compliments on these perfumes in terms of which one is stronger? I would honestly say I find Devotion to be a little bit more powerful. So this goes on first and then I layer it with this one. They are so beautiful together. They're like husband and wife. They are so like matchy matchy. I absolutely love these two together. And I've heard people talk about Devotion and they say um, um, it's a little bit medicinal and all of that. I honestly don't get that medicinal thing they're talking about. I just feel like it's it's amazing. And if you have these two, please layer them together and let me know what you think. So the next perfume is Vanilla Sex by Tom Ford. The first time I told you guys about this perfume, I actually didn't manage to capture or video myself literally smelling the perfume. But I went back into Selfridges to do my normal regular shopping and I went back to smell it again in the hopes that maybe first impression I was too hasty about it. And these are my thoughts, second time round. These are my honest thoughts about the perfume. So it's Vanilla Sex by Concord. It's giving vanilla blend, vanilla dry. As you guys can see, I didn't like it. I thought it was really bland. It disappeared after an hour, if that, from my skin. Um, I just felt like for 290 pounds, pound sterling, that is over 330 or $40. That perfume was not given. Um, I was highly disappointed. I was very underwhelmed. I feel like they are literally just giving us a watered down milk, not even like cow's milk. This is like, like, um, unsweetened <laughs> almond milk that is like literally bland. It had like a lactonicness about it and it had almonds. I didn't really get the vanilla. I honestly didn't really get the vanilla from it. And it was very, very faint. And I was so disappointed. I feel like it would be a waste of money unless you really love Tom Ford as a brand and you write for them regardless. Um, but I wouldn't, even if, like, I love Tom Ford, but I don't, I'm not writing like that. I'm not writing on that kind of scent that is just giving, like, there are body mist out there that has better lasting power that will cost you maybe 10% of that price, if not less. So save your coins. Um, like I said, unless you really want it in your collection, I will say one thing about it though. It has a very pretty bottle. <laughs> Literally, that's the only thing I can say about it. The bottle is very, very pretty. Um, they also re-released the Vanille Fertile, which I love. I have that in my collection. 
nothing has really changed they haven't really done any changes with that so i'm thinking are they trying to change their bottles altogether because i didn't understand why they re-released that perfume because they had the old bottle and they also had the new bottle there so i wasn't sure maybe the essays were meant to have put the old bottle away i don't know about that but if you already have that perfume you don't need the new bottle unless you like the aesthetics of it so that is it for tom Ford. so the other day i went into lush and they had like a whole section for valentine's day don't worry guys i got you for valentine's day i'm going to bring a video that is really focused on perfumes you can wear on valentine's day maybe i may add a few outfits options for you guys as well but we'll see anyway i got this posh white chocolate and rose now wait for this hmm. guys i was like this is insane look at that guys look at that that is a rose right dipped in white chocolate honestly you cannot get any oh my gosh any better than this this is so incredible if you i've got two of these by the way because the limited edition i need to have this always in my wardrobe because i can't be without this um posh chocolate wash now it lathers really really well smells like a very decadent white chocolate tea with a little bit of rose this is in incredible you can get this for yourself if you are a guy watching this get this for your lady like sometimes you don't have to spend so much money to kind of make someone feel special if someone bought this for me i would feel so special but anyhow this is amazing please run ahead to lush try this out and let me know what you think guys i'm sorry i'm going on but i'm so obsessed with this and it would pair really well although i've not tried it but it's it's a no-brainer it would pair really well with vanilla woods by the seven virtues i have been loving the seven virtues lately i really have i used to wear this only to bed but i've been wearing it to work and i've been loving it and i feel like it's actually long lasting doesn't project but it definitely will last so long on your skin now if you want it to project a little bit get you saint baths vanilla west indies look at that look at that juice if you like a gourmand that smells edible super sweet very syrupy it will stain your white top so don't spray it on your top um, on your clothing i feel like this is best on the skin like once once you finish moisturizing and you spray this on your skin oh my gosh it just melts into your skin it's so beautiful together amazing I've worn these two together, but I've not used this with these two, but I can imagine it will work really well together. Guys, again, <laughs> go ahead and get this. I will link it below uh, if I can find the link for it. I've not seen it online. I've only seen it in store. But anyhow, um, Vanilla Woods and Vanilla West Indies are absolutely divine together. Two more combos to go. Now, this is not really vanilla, but I'm cheating here, but I had to share this combo because when I wore this, I think it was about two weeks ago, I literally got compliments everywhere I turned. And it is Oud Satin Mood by MFK. You don't need a lot of this perfume. It's very projecting, it's very long lasting, it's beast mode. Um, and I layered it with Hypnotic Poison by Dior. This is your Almondy Vanilla, one of my best, my favorite perfumes ever. Like when it comes to designer perfumes, this might actually be my favorite. This is the Eau de Toilette. I always say I prefer the Eau de Toilette. Um, the Eau de Parfum gives me a bit of a play doughy type vibes it's not it's just something in there that doesn't really merge well with my skin but the other toilet doesn't give me that now this is the old formulation the newer formulation it still smells the same but i find that it's not as long lasting but it smells the same anyhow these two together incredible amazing i think i've seen this somewhere on instagram as well but i tried this one day um i didn't mean to i wore this and i was just like mm, i want something that's gonna project and i just reached for this and um, somehow somehow they work so so well together you guys know how much i love with satin mood it's 
probably one of my favorites from the mfk line and i will always have this in my collection if you have these two try them out best believe you are going to love it this is beast mode i'm talking two days you're still going to be smelling like this obviously if you shower then you're not going to smell like this anymore but literally very very long lasting combo and it will get you a ton of compliments and last but not least is a lost cherry and baccarat rouge 540 this combination guys oh divine divine perfection amazing i am simply in love um lost cherry is lost cherry we all know lost cherry at this point and br540 is br540 this is to me kind of like a burnt sugary kind of scent and this is lost cherries like a boozy cherry perfume i would never have paired these two together but br540 seems to be a really fantastic layering perfume with a lot of perfumes you will get an amazing scent from it but this has to be like the best pairing for br540 i am in love so i highly recommend these two as one of the best best layering combinations ever i simply adore these so i've got a little surprise for you guys i didn't want to mention this at the beginning of the video because a lot of people will watch the video and click off after a while but if you've stayed here till the end giveaway time so i'm giving away this perfume by shea and blue i bought it with my own money this is amber rose by shea and blue and it's an extra de parfum now this is the perfume let me take it out so you guys can see now this is a floral gourmand in my opinion now it may not be for everybody it's a very very gourmand smelling perfume it's got some caramel um i'll put the notes there for you guys to check out so the only thing you have to do to win this is to follow me on instagram and send me a dm as to why you want to win this because i'm trying to grow on instagram as well i want to hit 10k over there and i need you guys help so follow me on instagram and dm me why you want this perfume and that's it and i will pick a winner at random and announce it over on my instagram next week sunday uh, and i'm going to be doing quite a lot of impromptu giveaways like this so make sure you keep your eyes peeled you share my video you watch till the end because it does really help the growth of our channel so my lovelies that is it for today's video thank you so much for watching please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i cannot wait to see you guys in my next video bye